Hi everyone, Comic Reviewer here, this time doing another film review, and this one is on Millionaire Dogs. Now as you know, yeah, Millionaire Dogs, or as it was known as in Germany, as Hot Dogs, whoa, we're rich, was a 1999 German animated film, and yeah... Yeah, back when Cartoon Network had its early years, it would kind of air this film, along with other kind of hidden gems. Like, yeah, Cats Don't Dance, The Scarecrow, The Fearless Fall, as well as the 1996 film Matilda and Kitty Kitty Bang Bang. So, after kind of picking up this film a, a couple of months ago, decided to sit down and re-watch it. And the best I would say about it is that it's a simple kids film doing what it obviously needs to do. So the premise of the film is meant to follow Tuffy, who is maybe this small dog who gets dumped onto the side of a road. And where he meets JD, a streetwise street dog. And of course, we kind of see how JD is going to be the voice of reason. He's meant to be a bit of a tough guy. And at the same time, after helping a parrot known as Emu, we kind of see how they return him back to her own, his owner, Miss Lily. And we do kind of see how, yeah, Miss Lily looks after the other dogs. And we see how, how eventually Miss Lily dies. And yeah, we kind of see how the dogs are kind of in charge of the, the house and the inheritance. And this is where we're going to see Miss Lily's niece and nephew wanting to get the mansion. And of course, wanting want the sort of high life. I can kind of see what the film is trying to go for. Is how, yeah, money can easily corrupt a person. It will make them no better than someone else. I think the difference between JD and Miss Lily's niece and nephew is, JD actually does try to be the voice of reason, and does try to get the other dogs to see sense, that they shouldn't be squandering the money on personal crap, but instead trying to help other animals. And we do kind of see how, yeah, Miss Lily's niece and nephew will go to any lengths to find a loophole to get the dogs out of the mansion. And I think for the most part, the film is doing what it obviously needs to do. I think JD works as a character because he's meant to be a street guy. He's meant to be kind of like the voice of reason. But there are moments where he can be a bit of a hothead. But he has justified reasons when he needs to be. Because, yeah, when he kind of has to confront Dr. Quack, it's obviously, yeah, shown that due to what he did and helping Miss Lily's niece and nephew, he wasn't really going to be pleased with what he did. And sometimes, yeah, you're not going to be pleased with someone screwing up your life and getting you into serious trouble. And I think there's moments where I think, yeah, some characters just feel out of place. There's moments where I think, think some characters just don't really belong anywhere. I think the prime example has to be Bella. I think her character just feels like of enforced love interest for JD. I feel like JD just works on his own. It just feels like Bella could have been a totally different character. But there are moments where Bella's character just feels completely out of place. Or just feels uneasy to kind of look at when she's on two legs. And I think for the most part, the city area that they do, I actually think they pay a lot more attention to. It feels like a version of New York. You do kind of see heavy traffic roads, kind of seeing these large buildings and skyscrapers and all that. And I think for the most part, yeah, the film is trying to be another summer film. Something for the, for the kids to enjoy. I think, well, yeah, little kids are going to enjoy this. It's just one of those basic, cheap animation films that's obviously going to make a quick buck on the whole DVD market. So I think this film definitely deserves a thumbs in the middle. Kind of alright, but kind of okay. So, comic reviewer here, 
signing out.